I'm off the hill route again. Yeah. Gainey, you did it all backwards. I just fell over and I can tell you now, I am going to have a pretty killer bruise. Right, well we're at the fuel dock, um, we've topped up with fuel and we have a tiny problem. major practical today uh, for my yacht masters uh, basically um, mani marina maneuvers so I'm hoping to do going in forwards going on the side and going in backwards now we've chosen today as my uh, starting day because there's no wind and uh, the conditions are really calm so you then build up after that, you know, into the horrible conditions, which you, I'll probably do any day. You've lived on a boat for a year and a half. Are you seriously telling me you can't drive it into a slip? I've done a few slips, haven't I? But I've usually sort of said, Boom! <laughs> Can you do this? So that's got to change. We went through the boat's going to sea checklist. The other checklist is for when we leave the boat unattended. I think we need to go to the fuel dock first, Beverly. That's a little bit on the low side for my liking. I'll be honest, I don't know what empty means, you know, in terms of physically in the same tank. Yeah, well, this could be this could be a little bit too close for us, but... Unfortunately, there was no item on the checklist called switch on cameras, so we had to magically translocate to the fuel platoon. problem was that a barge was tied up next to the fuel pontoon, so Gaynor got some additional practice she hadn't been expecting. We used our usual docking method of get the lines on quick and tidy it up afterwards. Okay Gaynor, what did you just do? I just fell over and I can tell you now I am going to have a pretty killer bruise. I'm just... I basically, um, my arm went through the rail and um, it's just here. But even now, I can tell this is going to be a cracker. Well, lucky for you, we did the RYA first aid course last week. So, Gainer, I'm an emergency responder. May I help you? <laughs> yes, you may. You can rub some Voltarol on this. Voltarol? That's no good. I've got tea bandages. I've got face masks, but lie down. We'll do CPR. <laughs> I do not need CPR! I'm responding! Right, well we're at the fuel dock. Um, we've topped up with fuel and we have a tiny problem. It's only a tiny problem, but yes, we do have one. Our tiny problem is that we have a barge behind us and the thing about the barge is it sticks out further than the fuel pontoon, so we're going to have to manoeuvre. We have three options to do it and Gainer and I have already talked it over and picked the one that we're going to use, but we'll take you through them anyway. Option number one is just to simply pull the nose of the boat in on the front line and then let the stern of the boat go out. There's absolutely no wind today. It is windless. So this is a good option. It's a simple one. And simple plans tend to work, so I like that one. The second option is to take the line off the back, pull the line in at the front and drop the fender over and use the boat's motor to push forward so that the back is sprung away from the pump too. And the third option, which is the simplest one of all, is take all the lines off and go that way and then do a bit of three-point turns, and then go that way. After attending to Gaynor's war wound, she had to reverse salty lass out past the barge. So, she led the stern out and I pulled the nose in to swing the stern out even further. That's looking good to me. How do you feel?
Yeah. Gainey, you did it all backwards. We're supposed to be going backwards. We actually can find backwards on this awful lap. It's so much more moving than it used to be. Yeah. Oh, it's I have to do a lot bigger manoeuvres to get to a boat going where I want it. It's why we're, nobody's I'm not going to likely date anybody. We drove the boat backwards in Belfast Lock so that Gaynor could practice in open water with no obstructions about her. Okay, I'm happy with that course, so it's now back off the black ball head. Then it was back into the marina for three point turns and reversing okay, into the slip. After getting better at helming Salty Lass, we let someone else do the driving and we took the car ferry over to Liverpool for Christmas. Well, we're coming up to Chicken Rock and I have to tell you, I am so glad that I'm not on Salty Lass. I absolutely adore my baby, but it is well cold in the Irish Sea today. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, that's the chicken rock all right. I've seen it many a time. <laughs> <laughs> 